Technology is innovating by the second and is enjoyable in every facet, but we need to learn to control our use of technology. Even though technology helps us get through work and in our daily lives, we need to limit it because too much technology is unhealthy. The book keys on getting away from technology for periods of time so we don't get to this point. On average in America, a person checks their phone 47 times a day, and we use it 85% of the time during an interaction with the person. These are staggering numbers that are scary to even think about. All this screen time that seems to be overbearing on our lives is just ridiculous. Literally, phones and technology are running the ways we go through our day. According to Comscore's 2017 cross-platform future and focus report, the average American adult over 18 years old spends 2 hours 51 minutes on their smartphone every day. Radio frequency used to receive messages and notifications use small bits of radiation which can hurt in the body over a long period of time and can possibly cause brain cancer, tumors, lower sperm count, headaches, behavior, including in children, and sleep problems. There are 30,000 suicide deaths a year in America alone due to social media and that technology addiction is a factor in this number. This is a reason to limit your kids and your own social media use and talk to people in the real world for healthy people skills and healthy living. These statistics and facts aren't meant to scare you but to inform you why technology isn't healthy to use for mass amounts of time or really at all. Because in today's society, we use the phone 24-7 basically. This is where technology detox can help. Physical injury can also stem from being addicted. One of our classmates, not naming names, told us, I was walking down my friend's basement on the stairs and there were no lights on. And I was texting as I walked down the stairs and fell down the stairs. We need a technological detox. We need to throw our phones and computers instead of using them as pseudo defense system for anything that comes in our way. We need to be bored and not have anything to do to shield the boredom away from us. We need to be lonely and see what we, what it is we really need when we are. If we continue to distract ourselves so we never have to face the realities in front of us, when the time comes and you're faced with something bigger than what you are, your phone, food, or friends can fix, you will be in big trouble. Being able to handle yourself when your phone is dead is a necessary skill for if you go on something like a plane ride, a long car ride, where all the chargers are taken up. Being bored often can be a good thing. It can be used as a time to brainstorm or think about things that happen throughout the day. Lack of activity destroys the good condition of every human being, while movement and methodical physical exercise save it and preserve it. Just recently, I deleted my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, leaving only Messenger and Snapchat for people who want to get in contact with me who don't have a phone service. Occasionally, I even find myself scrolling back and forth through the apps my phone means it's habit. I challenge anyone to delete some social media apps that you don't need. So why can a detox be beneficial? Well, detox can be beneficial to know that you can switch off whenever you want and that you have a healthy balance when it comes to technology use. You'll carve out space to think deeply, connect to yourself, and connect to other people around you, and lastly, just to sleep. In conclusion, we're not saying that technology is bad, but to be free of technology for a short period of time is healthy and healthy in the long run. That's why people go on camping trips, have timers on their TVs, etc. Technology limitation is healthy, but detox can go a long way.